Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Antoine, and today we have an iPhone XS Max game for battery replacement. But this repair won't be a simple one because Apple and their software made something kinky uh, from iPhone XS and newer models. When you change the battery from a non authorized repair shop, you will get a message important battery message. Uh, you can see uh, we have the battery health which is 80%, so that's why the customer wants to replace the battery. And this is, I'm now I'm going to unpack the new battery I'm going to show you also. Uh, of course, maybe if you have an old uh, iOS, uh, like iOS 12, the first iOS on the iPhone XS, you won't get this message, but still someday you will need to update. Now, uh, some people can deal with this message, they don't care, but some of us, like me, uh, will be annoyed with this, mes uh, with this message, uh, so uh, that's why in this video I'll be showing how to replace the battery and of course get rid of the important battery message. So back to Apple kinky stuff, Apple obviously did this so people like me and you that don't have access to Apple uh, repair parts, genuine repair parts, and of course it's not a simple uh, just read write EEPROM or something like that that you can just use to change the serial number of the battery, obviously using a programmer. Uh, but again, it's a win for me that uh, I'll learn how to do it, uh, how to repair it, and also show you guys how to, to do the same. Uh, so this is what we will need. That is the soldering iron, a special uh, one for iPhone battery, where you can just use any soldering iron because it will not solder or attach to the nickel part of the battery. There are two parts for the battery, nickel and aluminum. So this is a very low temperature soldering iron and of course a programmer. This is the GCID V1S 6-in-1 that I'm using. Um, of course the programmer to reset the cycle count and the health of the battery. Uh, now in iPhone 11 and up, the EEPROM on the battery board is incorrupted so it can be read or write. Uh, so Canly and other companies made an individual flex that has an IC that connects to the battery connector of course to uh, store the data of the battery, but that is for another video. Uh, so now let's begin by uh, unwrapping uh, the battery connector and I'm just uh, reading the original one and the new one just to test both batteries that everything is okay. And of course, uh, please, this is a very, very, very delicate work, so be patient and be careful. So let's begin. I'll try my best in this video to show you every little detail and also not to make this video very long. So as I said, we will begin to unwrap the original battery so I can disconnect the battery board from the battery itself and then solder it to the new battery. The most focus will be on the original one, so you, can need, so you need to um, focus on the original BMS board. And for the replacement battery, the main focus will be on the battery itself, the cells battery. You can also find a replacement battery without the BMS board for sale in China, but I cannot recommend those because I never tested them before. Um, so yeah, basically uh, most of the black stickers as you can see that I'm trying to remove uh, are for uh, protection from the, a short circuit. But believe me, those stickers are stickers are not uh, easy to remove so uh, take your time uh, don't rush especially if you are doing this for the first time and you have two batteries connected to the BMS uh, which uh, again as in the XS Max or in the iPhone X or iPhone 10 but you don't need to remove the BMS you can just replace the battery uh, again this is all of this uh, hell <laughs> I'm going through is for the importing battery uh, message. Uh, you can begin with the down cell battery if you want, but I would like to go with the upper one. And uh, here be very careful to cut uh, the anode and the cathode. You don't need to connect them together. Uh, don't connect uh, both while connecting or soldering. Very important so you can uh, avoid <laughs> the big mess or the big fireworks for, uh, that comes from the battery because you will have a short circuit or short battery and just trying to cut through and not connect both of the anode and the cathode together my cutter is not sh very sharp and I'm also I'm trying not to bend the flex very much because uh, the connection is very bad also in the in those batteries from the iPhone uh, iPhone 8 and up so be very careful be very very delicate work be patient be careful and now the second one 
yep easy peasy so the upper board uh, the upper cell battery has gone and now I guess to the easy part which is the down one okay again a lot of stickers Apple Apple Apple, Apple. okay 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 a lot of stickers black stickers also don't forget to put the black stickers after you finish your work to avoid the short circuit but again uh, just a reminder I'm using the uh, soldering to solder the nickel and the aluminum together for the BMS and the new battery yep here we go now let's just remove everything and then we're going to jump under the microscope to clean everything up and then begin again with, uh, with the replacement battery, the same process. And by the way, I like the uh, soldering way more than the welding spot machine. I don't know, I got used to it. So yeah. Yep, everything looks fine. The flex, uh, I didn't bend the flex very much. So yeah, let's go. Back to my beloved microscope, and now I'm going to remove those two aluminum um, nickel parts uh, left from the original battery so we can have a clean side to solder uh, the replacement battery uh, from the down and the upper side uh, of the board, and of course the uh, cells of the battery. Uh, of course, uh, using the same solder with a very low temperature on your soldering iron station. Uh, so I'm using 280 uh, degrees Celsius. You can use up to 300 uh, degrees Celsius uh, just to make sure that you don't uh, damage the original BMS. And after that, we're going to repeat the process uh, to the uh, replacement battery. So we now clean everything. After that, going to jump to the replacement battery. Same process same work let's go so now to the replacement part and we're going to remove the sticker again also going to cut between the two cells and now I'm going just to remove a part of the um, of the adhesive of the battery so i can access the bms without any problems carefully uh, to be honest i don't give a shit about the <laughs> the um, BMS of the replacement part because I'm going to solder the original one as titled in the, in the in this video and I guess those stickers are uh, far more uh, easy to uh, remove from genuine ones yes you can see as you can see just one sticker now let's see the BMS on the non-genium parts. As you can see, this is how it looks. Maybe slightly different, and it's soldered on the flux. Uh, sorry, on the flex. So uh, now to the other part. After that, we're going to uh, jump to the microscope and start to desolder the flexes, and then solder the uh, original part. And after that, we have a couple of steps to do very important steps to do so yeah those are the uh, non-genium parts so now let's jump under the microscope let's go and as you can see those are four yes four five pins uh, pinouts uh, that are connected to a flex that connected to the uh, to the bms now we're going to remove again here we can use how much you want temperature uh, because I don't give a shit again about the BMS of the replacement part uh, but of course don't use like 400 Celsius or something like that I guess maximum you can use 340 and again but I guess it's a original part the BMS itself without um, Put to consider that the flex that is connects to the to the BMS itself. It's not original. Clean the solder a little bit so we can solder to the pad itself on the BMS. And now 
also remove from the other part just to make sure that everything is okay this one is hard to pull but here we go again clean everything and now let's jump and solder to the original one so this is the downboard or the downside of the BMS to the battery little flux here we can use a small amount of, uh, of solder also just to make sure that everything is soldered okay uh, the temperature you can use uh, up to 310 315 celsius less is better obviously and also the same here first time so yeah after we finish soldering everything we're going to um, get the battery as one piece and then we have a lot of as i said before we have a couple not a lot uh, just a couple of steps very important steps to do so we can connect the battery with the phone okay final results uh, i don't have a new sticker so i use the old ones and now uh, we only left with three very important steps uh, which are first is to activate the battery this is a very important step so that the battery can be read by the phone and you can do this by injecting 3.8 volts to 4.2 volts from your power supply to the battery connector itself just for a couple of seconds and after that we are going to bring our GCID programmer so we can reset the cycle count and the battery health again using our GCID programmer uh, and as you can see we still have the same battery cell number because that's why we swapped the original uh, BMS with uh, other cells. Okay, resetting the health. I don't like to um, push the cycle uh, cycle clear because it sometimes the bottom is glitchy. So everything looks fine, 100%, zero cycle counts. And now for the final step is to reset the battery connection or using an iOS bug to get this battery working with no important battery message. A note, if you don't do the last step, it could cause an error in battery settings, but it will still show the battery health in battery settings. And that by connecting a non-genium battery, you can uh, use non-genium battery or a other battery from iPhone X, and boot the phone until you get the important battery message, or also you can use your power supply. So now for the final, final, final <laughs> result or final, final, final test, it's uh, testing our battery. After we swap the BMS and new cells, and as you can see, we have a 100% uh, battery health, zero cycle counts because we reset the cycles and with no important battery message. So I guess our job is done here for the iPhone XS Max. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.